Hi there, I'll introduce you to the TUV Rhineland IoT Excellence Center. First, just take that, and you don't need to shoot me with that. That's just a camcorder from Stark Industries. Now, I've been thinking about developing a 2PFG standard for introducing labs such as this, because it's quite difficult to do it in such a short time. Yeah, you know what? I think introducing the standard will be quite profitable. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. So, at the TUV Rhineland IoT Excellence Center, it was developed and completed in 2018 and is comprised of an EMC lab and an IoT lab. And within here, there's an OTA chamber, four three-meter chambers, and also 11 shielding rooms for multiple types of testing. But amongst all these, my favorite is the 10-meter SAC. It gives me the feeling as though I'm in the future, at my home on Mars. And of course, here we have the most advanced testing systems for all sorts of appliances, such as mobile, TV, Wi-Fi, routers, tablets, and smart home base stations. You know, it's like a certification and one-stop testing center. And on top of that, it's fast, very fast. I can see you're itching to go already, so come on, follow me, and I'll show you around. I'm always very excited to introduce this place, and today, I'm more excited than ever. Come on in here and have a look. Can you hear me? And here, the three meter SAC. We evaluate the radiation emission standard of the wireless products here. Now, the three meter FAC, the absorbing materials will eliminate all reflection waves. We can see the product's true effective radiant power. This is the OTA chamber. We test wireless products here to see the performance of their antenna. The DAISY 6 test system reveals the amount of radiation energy a mobile phone produces. Then we can know precisely if our body can withstand its electromagnetic waves. This is the CTE 6000 test system. In short, it tests 2G, 3G, 4G and the latest 5G communication terminals and base stations. What's inside here is the RNS TS8997 test system. It's used to test the performance of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Hey, I'm behind you. Now, as you may know, our IoT lab mainly carries out radio performance tests. Just as when, if you have too many cars on a track, accidents become more frequent, well, the same can be said of radio signals, which is why our EMC lab mainly focuses on carrying out EMI interference tests and also anti-jamming EMS capability tests. Please. The three shielding rooms you're looking at are capable of all the related tests. And this is the three meter FAC. Here we test the immunity to RF radiation to make sure your neighbor's radio won't be disturbed by your mobile. Finally, here we are at the most exciting part of this tour and at my future home on Mars, the 10 meter SAC. I really like the design on the walls here. And as you can see, it's a very big space. Its purpose is actually to mimic and simulate an open space. And the test results and data you get from here are very accurate. So now you basically know what we do here at the TUV Rhineland IoT Excellence Center. I still have one last thing to tell you. There are 15 labs like this worldwide in as many as 10 different countries. And I've been thinking about how to write introductions for all of them, but I found that the speed at which I write those introductions can't catch up to the speed of expansion of these labs. But you know what? We're not slowing down. <laughs>